hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to make it possible status bar as a clickable in the form view and in case you missed previous discussion about how to create status bar and how to visible specific options in the status bar please check link is given in description plus if you want to learn more about odoo you can just visit this weblands channel especially you can just visit this playlist and here you can see different playlist available with different topics with the real test case and if you need any help uh, related Udo and if you need any support you can just go to about page and here you can see the email address is also provided plus if you want to support this channel you have like these two links like coffee.com and using the paypal plus you can also join using this join button so let's back to our main topic like how we can make it possible clickable status bar so let's say why i'm saying clickable status bar if you go to here in the student profile let me open any of the profile right now you can see it's not clickable right if i want to change the status directly here in the GUI part using the click event it is not possible right now right uh, let's say why i need to change from the GUI side let's say if i want to change the student i i simply click to edit button and here like i will update the student name or likewise any other information right and once i will save you can see it's already updated the student name so likewise i want to also update this status also so odoo provides the clickable option we will see how we can do it so let me go to an editor in odoo trainings custom add-ons in school students especially in views views.xml file and here you can see this is our form view right uh, let me unfold all like extend all let me maximize this one now you can see here like in the header part we already added some buttons to perform specific actions and here you can see this is our stat right might be confused what is stat let me show you the field all right so this is the field name the stat and field is selection field here so you can see here right now this stat we already used in the header part plus we also use the widget as a status bar here and if you want to display specific options only in the status bar like let's say here you can see there are four different options also available in status bar but if you go to in front end side you can see only three options is visible right so if you can also control this one so this discussion uh, we already discussed in our last session so right now i'm not uh, going to discuss this one let me comment this one and here simply like we need to add clickable status bar here so first let me here comment this code right and yeah of course this code is also available in the github and the uh, link is also given in the description all right uh, let's say this field the name we used as attribute widget we also used as attribute and here like one more attribute we have to use which is options like this so in this options like it's always support dictionary python dictionary if you don't know python dictionary then simply you have to understand as a json format so json format always should be like this right like key so key and value pair so like this way we have to use all right so here like i'm not discussing about more much more about the options attribute because all options attribute having a many other things it's also support so here we will discuss only clickable option so here like let's say as a name like we have to use clickable and here as a value we have to provide as a one all right so one means active and zero means deactive by default it's deactive so we have to always use as a one 
and not in the string comma all right so don't forget this one also so like we have to provide as a pure integer value here like this that's it and simply like i will stop the service plus upgrade the module here directly might be you surprised here you can see like uh, i'm using pycharm editor and directly like i can uh, i just configured this one uh, start auto stop like start stop restart plus upgrade the module like this where the configuration part you can see here like all the parameter i'm just passing here if you don't know this one and if you want to learn more about the configuration part you can just check out the editor related tips in the editor playlist all right so let me go to in the front end side and now you can see right now it's in draft stack you can see also the gui all right uh, let me refresh the page you can just focus here so now you can see the gui part also changed somehow you can see previously it was not a bold character but right now it's a bold character plus we also commented one session so right now we can see all possible values here and you can see whenever i go to any of the option it's over like this way and like simply i can click here it's automatically update that status here so this is actually a clickable status bar using options attribute using like this i hope you understood this clickable option here and uh, if you have any doubt related to this discussion please comment below and our next session should be how to add notepad uh, notebook and the page tag plus you can also learn like how you can add some tags here in the form view itself like you can see this is the tag right uh, uh, sorry tab like order lines you can see here the specific fields in the optional products you can see here the specific fields like this way you can also add this feature in the form view so we will see this one in our next session